I've been told it's a good idea to start a speech with a joke. Well, don't get your hopes up. I'm not here to tell jokes. I'm here to pick a fight. I'm here to pick a fight with second place. I have about as much patience for second place as I do for flies in my soup. But maybe you like flies in your soup. Maybe you like second place. Maybe you like that you gave it your best better luck next time, malarkey. They spoon feed runner-ups. Let me put it another way. If you think second place ain't such a bad deal, why don't you ask Napoleon how he felt about coming in second at Waterloo? Not so good. Not so good. And you can spare me, it's not whether you win or lose or how you play the game bullshit. I guarantee you whoever said that lost the game. Moral of the story, come in first. Still want to hear a joke? Fine. Here's one for you. Knock, knock. Who's there? The guy that finished second. The guy that finished second who? Exactly. life so interesting the theory of evolution claims only the strong shall survive maybe so maybe so but the theory of competition says just because they're the strong doesn't mean they can't get their asses kicked that's right see what every long shot come from behind underdog will tell you is this the other guy may in fact be the favorite the odds may be stacked against you, fair enough. But what the odds don't know is this isn't a math test. This is a completely different kind of test. One where passion has a funny way of trumping logic. So before you step up to the starting line, before the whistle blows and the clock starts ticking, just remember out here, the results don't always add up. No matter what the stats may say, and the experts may think, and the commentators may have predicted, when the race is on, all bets are off. Don't be surprised if somebody decides to flip the script and take a pass on yelling uncle. And then suddenly, as the old saying goes, we got ourselves a game. 